its individual members. Second, that is passing the entire structure, and third, passing at this to the structure. And uh, all three method we will study in consecutive lecture. So today we will study about passing individual member. It means that suppose we have a structure S, and inside X we have uh, its member as X and Y. And I want to pass a variable X to a function. Then how can we do that? Suppose this function is of sorry this member is of integer type type integer. So to pass this function, we need to just use the object name. Suppose object name is s one, and use dot operator, and I we will pass this in a function. Suppose our function name is f. and at receiving point means in function declaration it we it must receive argument as integer because our function s1 dot x is of integer type and this both by this way we can pass a individual member of a structure to the function so coming to the turbo c++ where we will see a easy example how can we pass individual member to a function so first of all we will declare a structure using type def struct and inside structure we take two integer variable integer x and integer y now here i am creating an instance point now i am done and suppose here a point uh, create object to a point p1 and put value 2 and 4 inside p1 now clear the screen and next thing that we have to do sorry pass a function suppose our function is display and pass attribute to the function so we have to pass p1 dot x and p2 dot x this is calling function calling function and next i am going to take a function and return type will be void and display and it will receive integer a and suppose integer b because both are of integer type so here i will just print x is equal to percent d and y is equal to percent d comma what we have to print a and b so we have passed this and uh, function call made and get ch now it's looking fine yeah we have an error on the find some ball now it it will be fine yeah x equal to 2 and y equal to 2 and uh, here if we will pass uh, we because y both are 2 because we in both case we have passed x now it will print x equal to 2 and y equal to 4 so in this way we can pass member individual member of a structure to the function so guys thank you for watching this video and in next lecture we will see how to pass the entire structure to a function so guys thank you